How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Weave Lounge. I am Nick, and in this character spotlight, June finally has a six-star update. This character, I expected to have that a long time ago. She needed it. She dropped off quick. I'll go into that, but it's about time. Now, if you're like most of us have been sticking around with this game for a long time, well, we've had June. We've had her use. And if you're on Global right now, you're already no noticing that June has pretty much fell off the planet, right? She's still used to the degree, but she's just like two steps away from the bottom of the stairs, falling on her face or something, right? She's not going to be used for the longest time on Global. Is she? JP hasn't been used since like, about the time Princess Kokoro gets launched, and that's like tonight, as re the recording of this video, I think, or really, really close. Yeah, so June is basically on her way out on Global, and we won't see her for years. Until now. This upgrade really, really, really helps. Let's go ahead and get into the skills. Do, do, do. All right. Well, you know, it would actually really help if I had June's skills up. And instead of restarting the video, I can find it real quick. Tune skills. There we go. See, I got cheat sheets. Uh, I'm a real professional when it comes to uh, recording videos, ain't I? Yep, not even ready with the skill names. Anyway, skill number one, Brave Recovery. Heals one ally with the lowest hit points. That's it. Now, early on in the game or whatever, that actually comes in handy. You know, it... A lot of fights that we did, you know, that one little bitty tiny heal that she throws out of her was just enough to get by, right? And not so much now. But maybe a little bit more now. We'll get there. Skill number two. Armor Break, a small single target attack with a physical defense power debuff. Okay, this is like one of the primary reasons why we would bring June instead of any other tank or whatever. Because, you know, she has really good survivability, but she has that physical defense debuff. Always really came in handy, but it wasn't it was it was tiny, right? It had to be compounded with something else in order for it to be any good. And now that she's dropping off, basically, you know, it, it's garbage, you know, until the six star hits. Okay, I'll get into that really, really soon here. EX skill increases magic defense of all things. If you happen to have her at five stars or greater, greatly increases magic defense. The union burst. Inferno Shield, we all know what this is. It grants an all-damage absorption barrier. That's what it is. And I say all-damage, and I always clarify, that means it doesn't matter if it's magic or physical. It, it, it includes, and it will defend. All damage. And that's all it was. This character was always incredibly, incredibly simple. And then, of course, you get the unique equipment. The special equipment, unique equipment, the Justice Barrier. It's the armor that she's wearing, but now it's official. I always hated that mechanic. Give her, give them like something special that cosmetically changes them or something or whatever. I always, that always irks me. Justice Barrier, it upgrades the Brave Recovery skill, skill number one, to also include physical attack power and action speed buff to whoever it is that she healed. Not a good upgrade or skill. Why? Because depending on the fight, it could be completely random. Like whoever is like basically the lowest uh, hit points or whatever, yay, heal. Granted, they need the heal. But do the other buffs matter to that character? You know, what if it's Yui sitting in the back with an extra heal or something and you're like, here's some physical attack for you. Doesn't work out very well, now does it? Never really cared for that. But what we want to know about is the six star Union Burst upgrade. That is the Infernal Rampart. So instead of, you know, Infernal Shield, it's the Infernal Rampart. The ra isn't Ramparts breaking through or something? Yeah, whatever. Infernal Rampart. Deploys a massive all damage shield around herself, kind of the same as before, only amplified, and greatly increases the physical attack power and action speed of all allies within her immediate vicinity. So she finally gets some support mechanic to her, and the attack power buff is significant, and the action speed buff is, I think, second to Monica. Monica's got a really, really good action speed buff. This isn't quite as good. But here's the little thing or whatever. Let's go ahead and throw her into combat while I talk about this. Because i got to get some more boss tickets for the rerun fight. I'm, try I'm trying to get everything to five stars, guys. I really am. Because I'm trying to get that power maxed. And that takes 
effort. Lots of it. Okay, let's slow this down. And yes, I did hit my microphone if you guys didn't hear that. Okay, so <laughs> a professional YouTuber, remember. All right, now the range of her little this. You guys say, watch real quick. Looks a lot more impressive, don't it? Now you see that little fire going around her? That's basically the field of effect. You know, think Nanika. She puts down that little field, helps out magic and blah, 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 or whatever. Well, June's doing that too. But of course, the actual, what you see on the screen isn't necessarily as big as it is. It, it, it seems like it's actually bigger. So, <laughs> there's a joke there, but I ain't going there. Okay, so, essentially, it's about the mid of the mid guard is the range on this thing. So, you know... Essentially, half of the characters on the roster are close enough to be in this. Okay, that's a pretty good amount to pick from, right? You know, it's pretty good. You know, if you're throwing somebody way in the back the heel or something, or an archer or something, no, they're not going to get it. You know, but anyone mid-guard, I know Sheffy qualifies. She's close enough to get it. I know that Mimi is not. Mimi is outside of it. So somewhere right in between there. And that's going to be a big deal because, you know, this character all of a sudden, you know, she was like... B minus C rank on everything, you know, because as time goes on, the power creep and everything, you know, June just got worse and worse and worse. And for the longest time, I would have told you that June was one of the worst characters in the game at some point. I mean, not absolutely worthless, but on JP especially, you were not using her ever, period. She was like, she was a throwaway tank. If you were like climbing one of the EX dungeons or something and you're just trying to throw together groups to get through it or push as hard as you can, it's like, I need a tank, I need a tank. Where am I looking? Where the bottom of the barrel. Hey, Carol, how you doing? We'll move over to the side. Oh, there's June. Okay, throw her out there and tank and dies in two seconds anyways. Quicker than freaking Chica's spirits. Uh, my spirit gets crushed whenever I think of that. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Help me raise my spirit. See? <laughs> Good segue. See, I, I can do the YouTube thing every once in a while. So... All in all, you know, this actually ends up being a really good boss battle character. And you just have to know that you need specific groups and that you actually do need a tank. Because remember, a lot of boss battles don't actually need a full-on tank. They just need a thing in front with just enough hit points and damage to kind of regenerate ourselves. So, needless to say, she's not going to be in all the things. But let's put it this way. She's kind of on par with her Christmas version that just came out. We have Six Star June and Christmas June. If you need a tank, either one of these can probably work, but one has its strengths and weaknesses compared to the other. So in Situation X, it might be Six Star June. In Situation Y, it might be Christmas June. There's a lot of things going on. Now, if we just get like, you know, Six Star Summer June, boop, uh, uh, bump her up or whatever, we'll have a bunch of Junes and it'd be party time Junes. Triplets. I'll let you guys settle on that. So anyways, you know, this is definitely not a bottom of the barrel character worth, you know, Carol. Hi, Carol. Carol's still sitting down there, but it's not a bottom tier six star character like Carol down there. It is definitely one that you want to get. Is it a priority to make six star June like the one and first and foremost that you need to go get? Absolutely not. There's other tanks and everything that if you need a tank, they can work. Like I say, you know, if... If this character works in a situation, chances are like Christmas June will work in a situation. Or you throw Miyako in, or Princess Pekko, or regular Six Star Pekko, or something. There's, there's a lot of different things. You don't necessarily need this character until you're trying to push those clan battles and special fights and everything where you need specific groups. This is one of the characters that's going to be in those groups. And, well, I can't really tell you where to put her. No, she's not bottom of the barrel. It's not the one you should be going at first. She's not mid-tier. Where are we at? I guess you pretty much just have to decide for yourself on this, this one. It, it's one of those where it's like, okay, our clan battle's coming up. Are you going to need a tank? Is June probably going to be in there? Okay, boom, go, 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 get, get, get. Uh, if it's something else or whatever, then I guess maybe not. You know, like, like right now, having six-star June is actually kind of pointless. We don't need her right now. There's no strategy that I have seen as of yet that actually has her in there as like the super important you must pick this character. That could actually change tonight because of the special dungeon going and it's ramping up and getting harder. So we might need her. Time will tell. She might be more important than what I'm thinking. And if she is, well, you're getting buried in your depot, Carol. Sorry. Catch you in the next video.